morning going? Hey there, uh, just outside the office uh, here to pick up my car from the pound. Good morning everyone, we're outside uh, GHL Towing in Odahu. Just um, signed the form to get my Sylvia back, so they're about to bring it through the gates now. It's actually green stickered, I forgot that it's green stickered, so I'll have to drive it straight to a um, WAF shop. Yeah, don't really want to get caught with a green sticker on it, uh, which is kind of bullshit, like apparently every car that gets the same lots of traction is apparently a possible illegal vehicle, even though mine just had a WAF, so. Yeah, um, oh, we actually have an appointment at Auto Stance to get an alignment for the car first because it really needs one and then we'll go straight to the wash shop, but yeah, I'm super happy to have the car back and hopefully it's not damaged or shit's going to go down, so yeah. Okay, so finally got Sylvia back. Um, whoever was fucking driving it has put these straps so fucking tight. I don't know why they bothered to adjust them, but completely fucked it. So we just gave the Sylvia an alignment, which it really needed. Um, and it's still a bit fucked. It's still pulling to the left pretty hard, which it's been doing pretty much the whole time. So we're going to leave it here at Auto Stance for a few days. We're going to get some new front tires, some new tie rod connectors, which are pretty fucked. Um, we're going to get some new rear tires as well, but I might as well just burn them up and then get them pretty soon. Uh, so yeah, this is sort of the start of like the whole uh, restoration process for the Sylvia. So we've already ordered um, quite a few interior parts. I ordered a big, big wing for the back uh, yesterday and a roof spoiler. So yeah, we're also going to be need to do, uh, get a rear bumper probably soon and start painting all that stuff and getting it on the car. And then I want to start restoring the interior. So still need to decide if I'm going to get carpet or not. Uh, definitely going to try get the stock door cards back in there, get some speakers, get a stereo, move the gauges. Um, all that stuff, so yeah, we're gonna leave it here for a few days and should be back soon to uh, pick it up. What happened last time? 
Cool, so the Sylvia is still at Auto Stance and the last few days this weekend I've uh, just been working basically and I spent most of yesterday trying to get my golf to be a bit louder so this is what it sounds like now You couldn't hear anything before yeah, so it sounds pretty good and it's got a few little DSG farts when you're upshifting. Uh, so it sounds pretty good. I've been meaning to do that for a while. Basically what we did is we just took the muffler out completely and put in a smaller resonator because there was a massive muffler and a massive resonator. So it's really good. Um, it, yeah, it crackles a little bit. And but if you want to put it in eco mode and just chill, you can't hear it at all, it doesn't drone at all, so it's perfect. Um, and then right now, we are about to go down to Tauranga, which is about two and a half hour drive down there. Basically, there's a Sylvia rear bumper that I want to go get down in Tauranga, and it's pretty cheap. So I thought not really doing much today, so I thought I'd boost down to Tauranga. So I probably won't film heaps of it, but um, yeah, got a little road trip, and I might film a little time lapse, put it up there, check a little time lapse. <laughs> One thing that I fucking hate about New Zealand is like you'll be on like the main highway, you know, main highway that goes from the top of the country to the bottom of the country, and then it goes through a small town. Oh, this is actually where um, Lord of the Rings was filmed. Fucking history lesson right here. Um, Hobbiton, Matter Matter, is where we are now. Uh, yeah, not the greatest place. A lot of restaurants. Eye doctors. There's just a bunch of fucking restaurants. Anyway, in New Zealand, unlike America, every 30 minutes the entire highway has to stop so that you can go through a small town with one lane and extend your total journey time by hours. And yeah, it's just a great place to live. So, a uh, pretty successful mission down to Tauranga yesterday. Uh, we ended up getting back pretty late. It took like eight hours total to get there and back. Um, yeah, we had a nice dinner in Hamilton on the way back and we got the bumper. So, this is a pretty sick bumper. Um, apparently, it's like a, a Workshop X, which is apparently like a New Zealand brand. Um, but you know, they all look pretty similar. It's just a boxy um, rear bumper and I got that. For only 150 bucks, so that's a pretty good deal. Took like you know a few hours to get there and back, a um, little bit of gas, but yeah, pretty sucked with that. So uh, the boys at Auto Stance are almost done fixing the car. Uh, we got some sick front tires, and uh, we got some new brake pads. We actually found out that the um, the brakes were just completely fucked. So apparently they had been rebuilt a week before I bought the car, and. Uh, they just completely seized the brake was just basically constantly on um, at like 20% force So, you know as if you were holding down the brake pedal um, A little bit like all the time. So I, I, I kind of did notice that um, Recently when I was driving it like it slows down very quickly when you just let off the gas. So um, Yeah, that's the reason that it was pulling to the side a bit It was happening more on the left and the right. So they've sorted it out I think we got some new brake pads and new rotors 
new tires and new tire rod connectors so i should be able to pick that up in the next few days um but we've got the rally this weekend and i'm also going on a cruise with another group of friends on a saturday so i'll probably end this episode here and then the next episode we'll be picking up the sylvia and it's going to be mint as i also got some interior pieces to put in and we've ordered a few more parts spent so much on this car this week um a few more parts and soon we're going to be able to put on all those parts and pretty much paint like the majority of the car it's going to look sick i kind of changed what I originally wanted to do with it um, when I did that explanation video last time, but it's gonna look fucking sick. I'm really excited to show you guys. Also, thanks a lot for the support recently. Um, since the last video went up, we've been monetized on YouTube, which is sick. Basically, that allows me to earn a little bit from YouTube and I'm gonna be putting it all back into the video. So every dollar I spend is gonna be going into the car or into events for the Notorious Collective. So if you wanna help me out, the best way to do that is to subscribe share the videos with your mates comment like all that good shit and yeah thanks for the support guys i'll see you next time later